It's one player, two player, put controller in, and they turn the power button on and say, POWER ON! Blake. Even Ridley Scott being a fucking lunatic, insisting that he's a replicant, doesn't even ruin the movie for me. I mean, he can't be a replicant, because, you know, plot, but whatever. <laughs> I mean, like, he theoretically could be, but it's just weird, because he's implied to have, like, such a long history of being a Blade Runner. Via the cops he's talking to. Yeah, like, he has very clearly a long relationship with these people, and they're bringing him in. It's like, I guess he could be, because, like, they've been using replicants for, like, a long time. But it doesn't make any fucking sense. Because if he is a replicant, he's a shitty one. Because he's getting his fucking ass kicked left and right. Yeah, he can't put his fucking hand through walls. He can't do any of the shit that they can do. Like, constantly getting his ass handed to him. He worried about falling off the roof. A replicant would not have done that. I mean, they probably would have. Because that probably would have... That would have killed, like, basically anyone. I guess. Maybe. Because, like, I... I don't remember how high it was. It was really high. Was like, okay, yeah, he's at the top of, like, a fucking massive then building. Then never mind. He's like at the top of like a skyscraper, essentially. Oh, I have something that's very good. That's so dumb. It's like, why the fuck did you lean in on this interpretation? One, it ruins so much of the movie. Like, just thematically. Like, the whole final showdown. Like, Rutger Hauer, who plays Roy Betty, was talking about it, like, when people were asking about it. And he's like, yeah, I, I don't like that interpretation because it ruins, like, there's a, a man versus machine element to that final showdown in the Bradbury building. I might die. Yeah, you're gonna die, definitely. Yeah, for sure. There's like a man versus machine element Holy to like shit. that final yeah. final encounter. It's it's a vastly it's a vastly better movie if he's not a replicant. It was then, the whole fucking thing. And then he was very like, yes, twenty forty nine will ants will will put definitively whether he's a replicant or not. And then it And then it doesn't. <laughs> no, it said he wasn't. Is it, is it explicitly stated? Yeah, because if he was, he'd be dead. Huh? <laughs> it's, it's a whole weird thing, because it's like, well, yeah, it it doesn't... I mean, like, I'm not going to argue... If he were it, a replicant, like, it's because never, of how long between movies... It is never explicitly stated. He'd be dead. Like, it's not explicitly stated. Whether or not. But by the logic presented in the first film... He'd be dead. Because, like, the logic is, like, oh, well, because it's, like, it's noted by in the first one when they're they're talking to, to uh, what's his name, whatever, Tyrell. I don't know who. I don't remember what his first name is. But the guy who runs the Tyrell Corporation, who makes the replicants, when, when Roy well, Batty. Well, anyway. Yeah. And then he fuck, pops his skull. Fucking just crushes his head in. When he's talking oh, yeah. about yeah, it, yeah, he's yeah, like, yeah, 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 I pre-engineered, and I think they're talking about early mode. It's like, they're like, pre they're engineered to have a four-year lifespan. It's not just like a natural byproduct of how they're made. Like, it's an intentional, like, yeah. fail-safe. So, so the idea is like, oh, well, he, Deckard's a replicant who was made without that. Much like, I think Rachel is, it's like, similar thing. She's, she doesn't have the lifespan. No, the, she did. It was pointed out in the movie. It, it was talked about. I don't think she has the four... I think it's... I don't think Woo! she has the four-year lifespan. I think she's given a longer lifespan. Maybe. Because when, when I swear it's mentioned when he's he goes to talk to uh, Mr. Tyrell and he meets Rachel for the first time. I think he, like, like when he takes him aside, he's like, oh, yes, she's, she's a replicant, but I've given her a longer lifespan, Mr. Deckard. And right before my favorite line, which is when he's doing the void comp test on her, and she's like... Is this a is this a test to see if I'm a replicant or a, or a lesbian, Mr. Deckard? I love that. It's such it's like one of my favorite lines from that movie. It makes me like laugh every time. This is stupid. Really, am I stupid? Stupid in a good way. It it at the time I'm sure it was fine, but like it's aged, not like badly, like. It just, it's not funny, but, like, it's funny. For me, anyway, that's why I laughed at it. No, that's good. I, I was like, that is, that is a joke of its time. <laughs> I don't think, I, I don't think that's even a joke of its time. It's so, like, I could see someone now making, like, that same joke. Oh, I, I frostbite him. Frostbite him. I frostbit him. Did I? Yeah, no, I what a like. 
can't fucking tell. Because the problem with, with, with Deckard being a replicant is like, one, the movie's clearly not written with that as the screenwriter literally admitted multiple times. So it doesn't work because the movie's not uh, written with that idea. Like, 2049's written with the idea of Ryan Gosling being a replicant. Yes. So, like, they can actually explore that as a concept. And not have it be, like, vaguely hinted at. Like, get on. Get on! His weakness is fire. His weakness. Is being fucking lazy. His weakness is being stabbed. Yeah, I, when I read that uh, Ridley Scott also didn't like the ending of Blade Runner 2049, I was like, ah, vindication. <laughs> vindication. Apparently he liked a lot of it, but he had some issues with it, one of which being the ending. And I was like, ah, vindication. <laughs> I like, don't know. I don't trust the opinion of Ridley Scott. Ridley Scott is also the guy who keeps insisting that Deckard's a replicant. Well, <laughs> so I trust his opinion regarding the ending. Because he, he liked a lot of the other stuff. And I'm sure he was just saying, yeah, no, it's, he's a replicant because of whatever was going on. How recent was this? Ridley Scott's been saying Deckard's a replicant for literally, like, years. Since the movie came out. Ah. So that's why the final cut... Is has all that weird shit with the unicorn because like all that's added in in that final cut. The it's, unicorn. It's, yeah, the little origami unicorn. Yeah. And like, there's that weird dreamy Deckard has where it has like footage of like the horse, the the unicorn going through the woods. I did not see that. I saw the origami. It's it's a really short scene and it's honestly like. I'm shocked you to, I mean, it's been probably, it's, it's been a minute since I've seen it, but like, yeah, there's, there's like a shot of like a, a unicorn going through the woods. Yeah, so no, Ridley Scott's been fuck. like, oh, fuck, Ridley Scott's been obsessed with the idea that he's a replicant since like, after the movie came out. <laughs> Did my character just go, oh god, <laughs> oh god, it's all the bros. Stab right in his asshole, fuck you. Thank you, I needed those souls. Please. Ooh, I also got an item. Hmm. This is going great. Yeah, man. Uh, 24 and 9 would have been a lot better, just with a better twist. Uh, uh, you know what? I would have even accepted the twist that we got if there had been more seeds that were more obvious. Because, like, uh, what, what's the best way to put this? There are, there are seeds, sure. They're very hard to notice unless you watch it a second time. And those seeds are great in a movie. But you should also have seeds... That are much more clear to see as you're watching the film. And the only obvious seed I can remember from having watched it is her being in the movie. That's the only thing I remember distinctly where it's like, oh, it's her. Because like when they when they showed her, I was like, oh, her. I was like, who the fuck else could it be if it's not him? And I'm like sitting there and I'm like, whatever, I guess. It, it, I would have been happier with it, I'm going to be real, if they had hinted towards it more frequently, like three or four more times than just the end. I'd have been fine with that. I'd be fine with that. Uh, again, personally, I didn't... We've gotten you into this you, did, you didn't before. have an issue with it. I didn't have an issue with it. I, I kind of find it interesting that, like... Yeah, I feel like the, the, the weird girl in, like, the plastic bubble <laughs> room being the, the child... Ashley presented another better would have been a little more interesting. ending that would have been a lot more interesting, which is Twins. Which, we were sitting down watching it, and we were like, it kind of seems like that's how it was originally written. Is that they were going to go with the Twins idea, and they just decided not to for whatever reason. And we were sitting there, and we were like, Twins would have been such a better twist, because it would have provided ground for a sequel. Which is why I think they didn't go with it. I'm fine with it. I don't think everything needs to have no, like, yeah, I agree. a sequel. Um, but I think that's why they didn't go with the twins, but I also would have been fine with it not getting a sequel, but still being the twins ending, because that would have been fascinating. <laughs> that would have been phenomenal. Where it was like, yeah, no, they were twins, or even just, like, two different children of replicants from different mothers. Like, anything else, I, I genuinely would have preferred any other, either other twist or just delivery of the current one. I would have been fine with yeah, I think anything there, I think there could have been a little, a few more hints yeah, towards, could have been towards better fucking delivery. Bubble Tina as, This is, this as is me child. after coming down from the anger and being like, you know what, I think if the delivery had been better, I also would have preferred. Because, like, I... 
like that's one of my favorite aspects as i'd like that that ryan gosling's character is just kind of he's still important to the plot because he's moving things along and like uncovering it all but like he's not like he doesn't actually have like a massive stake in the plot i think i'd even be happy with that ending if they did another movie with ryan gosling where they're like yeah he actually didn't die because they, they left it kind of vague yeah it, he's just bleeding and they were just the like hey we're gonna do another ryan gosling blade runner movie where he's like running away from everybody and having to like figure out what he wants to do now it's i mean it is very heavily implied that he dies because they're playing the exact same song that plays after roy betty dies no, before Roy Batty dies, because it's the same. Woo! It's the same track. It's it's remade, but uh, it's like the same song that plays in the first one when mm -hmm. Roy Batty is giving the Tears in the Rain speech. I would have loved. I would such loved more Ryan Gosling in Blade Runner, just because he did that so he's well. So fucking good in that movie. I'll I'll even take it if it's not even a good fucking like. Yeah, so he didn't die, and that's it, and they just leave it. <laughs> I'll take it. I'll be like, yeah, okay. Give me more Ryan Gosling, yeah. Like, he just announced a new movie, not him himself. Oh, yeah, he's in The, the Fall, Guy. Fall Guy. I'm excited for that. Looks so am I. I want to fucking go see that so bad. You and I need to go see a movie together. I keep telling you I want to go see it, and then you go see shit with other people. How dare you? How dare you have a life? How dare you have other people? How dare you go see right, movies with so... your dad? And not with me! We're at the three hour mark. I gotta figure out where I wanna sit so I can get to the next thing, and I think it's right here. That, 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 that's, the, the Tears in the Rain speech just fucking owns. You know what? Let's go get the last tower and then call it quits. It's the most. Because that tower is gonna suck ass, and I kinda don't wanna do it next time. I kinda wanna just be able to just, go just, straight to the boss. Just have it now. So, the Tears of the Rain speech fucking owns. Depending on how quickly we get this it done. Rocks. It's like the most beautiful speech I think I've ever like one of the most beautiful movie speeches. It's good. It's like every like the the whole like the way it's shot, the the setting up of the like the location it takes place in. Rutger Hauer's performance just in general, he apparently uh he like rewrote a decent chunk of that speech. It was supposed to be like way longer and way less like emotional. But he like took it and like condensed it and threw in his own little bits, which is crazy to think of. You little fucker. Because like you can find the uh, you can find the script for Blade Runner like online, and it has the like full like the original version of what the the, the speech was, and it's way longer. That's cool. And way less like emotion in in the speech. That sucks a little bit. But like, this guy might come after me, I and mean, it's not a good time if he does. <laughs> He's just going around. Well, you know that right now. If he comes for me, it's uh. It's over. It might actually be over. Yeah, I might. I might fucking die from that. I just love that in the, uh, it, in the theatrical cut of Blade Runner, like that that beautiful speech and that beautiful moment just gets absolutely ruined. Does it? Yeah, because, like, throughout the movie in the theatrical cut, they have, like, Harrison Ford doing, like, noir nar narration. But it's really bad because Harrison Ford didn't want to do it. So he's like, maybe if I just, like, don't try, they won't use it. And then they used it. <laughs> so it's really bad. And you can clear, like, you can, you can hear the disdain and, like, how much Harrison Ford does not want to do it and how much he's, like, deliberately sabotaging it. Did he go on record as saying that? Yeah. That's awesome. It's like, yeah, I was like, I was hoping, I didn't want to do it. Everyone thought it ruined the movie. And it, it does. Like, I think on an actual, like, technical level, it ruins the movie. It's really funny on its own, though, because there's some gems, because of just how much he does not give a shit. But, like, right after the speech that he gives, which basically explains to him, like, his his perspective and why kind of he had like a I don't want to say a change of heart. I don't think through the entirety of that fight, I don't think Roy Batty wanted to kill Deckard. He just wanted to put like the fear of God into him. He wanted to like scare Deckard. So you see that little, see that little hill over there? That's where you gotta go. Trees? That's where you gotta go. Yep, and I gotta deal with that. Damn. But yeah, so. And I don't know his weakness, but I really hope 
It's fire. It's fire. <laughs> if it's not, then we're fucked. Like after this beautiful, the be the beautiful tears in the rain speech. It just cuts to Harrison Ford, like not even giving a shit, going like, I don't know why he saved my life, but I think it was because this reason. And it's like, is it made for people who are fucking blind? Like, did they not watch the movie? Like, I think the speech, his whole ass fucking speech, gives you a decent idea of why he didn't fucking kill Deckard. Oh, fuck! It did do a decent amount of damage, I think it was. Might be fire, yeah. The downside is I have no more. <laughs> it's over. So, we're gonna do the thing that everybody does in speedrunning communities. And run around it. <laughs> ah, we're not fighting this fuck. Fuck you. I love Harrison Ford's narration, it's great. You get to hear Harrison Ford say the N-word. Did he? He does, yeah, in the Blade Runner narrations, because he's talking about, like, the police chief guy and how he calls the, the replicants, uh, what the fuck do they call them? Skin jobs, I think? Yeah. And he's like, ah, if he was around during the 40s, it would have called black people the N-word. But he says, like, he actually says the N-word. Mm. So I'm like, okay. It's whatever. Like, he's used it to make an analogy, but, like, it's just... It's just really weird. <laughs> like I like I get the point. Like why he's why he's saying it. I'm like it, yeah, probably. It's, probably right. Yeah. It's just really weird. It's like whoa. But yeah, it's basically just Harrison Ford just explaining the movie to the audience because they didn't have any faith that people could like, I don't know, pick up on. You cannot sprint in this. This is gonna be a bad a fucking time. Run. <laughs> the sludge. Oh! No! no! Get the fuck out of there! We did Yo! it. Yo! We did it. Let's go already. He'll be up there when I come back. We did it. It's at least done. Oh boy! <laughs> did oh. not like that part. There's a, yeah, this is like a YouTube compilation of just like some of the best bits from that narration. Uh, I definitely recommend looking it up. Just the N-word, nothing else? It's just, just, no, it's just, just that. No, it, it even includes the one at the end after the Tears of the Rain speech. Where it's like, it, it's just fucking baffling. Because it's like, I get like all general audience shit, but it's like, this is just made for people who like, don't know how to comprehend a movie. Like. At all. Yeah, it's like all, most, all of like his dialogue, all his narration is just him explaining what's going on. It's like, if you're watching the movie, you can pick up on that. Get frozen, bitch. It's like, did you not watch, like, Roy Batty's... No! Yellowfinger, hey self. Uh, this is one of the NPCs. Like, if you watch the movie and pay attention to... The plot. The plot. You would understand why Roy Batty, like... Wants to fuck with Deckard. Because he's being fucking hunted by him. And he's like, I'm not gonna kill you. I'm gonna put the fear of God in you, though. Stop spamming your fucking fireballs at me. It's pissing me off. Get out of there, Jesus! Regular virgin, get out of there! You yeah, knock that shit off with your fucking ice pick. You missed. Fucking move! <laughs> Regular virgin, move! Go! Get out of there! Regular virgin. Drink the soup. <laughs> you done? You fucker. You fucker. You little bitch. Oh. Oh, there. What's up? 
That's fine. Gregolin virgin? <laughs> he is dead? Gregolin virgin? He's a virgin? He is. Never had sex? Even before he died the first time? Then he came back? Still a virgin? <laughs> still, no, everybody. still no bitches? Still no bitches? Ah, beautiful. The best song in the whole game. Oh. I don't know why I saved my life. It's not like I didn't watch the fucking movie.